In this video, I'll demonstrate the use of slicers in Google Sheets. So here is my data, and if I wanted to add a slicer, I can click on Data, Add Slicer. And what this does, it just creates a button on your sheet to do filtering for you. So let me make sure my data range is correct. And the data range I'm going to use is just for the states. I'm going to slice up some states and then click OK. And then I can move my button around. You can use a slicer in lieu of turning on data create a filter. And you can see here that create a filter is grayed out because you are going to use slicer. All right, so now I want to slice up this data. I don't want to see all the states. I just want to see some of the states. So I can click this down pointing arrow and then choose the states that I want to see. So instead of unchecking all of these, I'll just click on clear and then choose the ones I want to see, which is California and Florida and New York and click OK. So now I only see records of California, Florida, and New York. The real power of slicers, in my opinion, is to use this with charts. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to delete my slicer here. And now I see all my data and I'm going to insert a chart based on states. So here's my uh, states pie chart. And I'm going to put this on a new sheet. So I'm going to click on Add Sheet, call it Chart. Then I'm going to go back to the Demographics data, and I'm going to copy this chart. Copy chart and put it on my chart sheet. So now I have all of my states in a chart, and now I'm going to add a slicer. I got to make sure that my data range is correct. So I'm going to remove this, go back to demographics, make sure states is selected. Demographics E through E, I want column E, and then click OK. So now it's going to focus on the states. I can change from all to just California and New York. Scroll down and click OK. And then now my chart only shows California and New York. And that, in a nutshell, is how you use slicers.